I'll just start my uh, uh, whatever conversation I have with you in the five minutes that what is the space that is available for our uh, mitigation technologies that we are talking about. So, so if uh, this is just a, a drop, I mean, a representation of the BUR3 results that uh, are uh, available to us, and these are 2016 numbers. And as you can see that we have around, somebody just mentioned that we have around uh, 3,030 million tons of uh, sequestration happening, and the rest of it is all emission. The total emissions that are coming out from the country are around uh, 2251 million tons uh, of CO2 equivalent. So if that is so, how it is distributed and where investments need to be targeted? So most of it, as you can see, is in the energy sector. Uh, the energy uh, uh, sector, if you look at energy industries, are actually contributing 42% of the emissions, followed by the uh, manufacturing uh, and the agriculture industries, agriculture per se, not the industry. And then uh, the uh, next uh, emissions are coming from the transport sector and followed by the uh, others uh, which are in terms of the residential, commercial um, uh, um, uh, buildings. And then lastly, we have uh, the emission from the waste as well. Uh, so you can see that we have a lot of avenues for doing our uh, you know, transition into net zero that we talk about. Of course, these emission uh, shares will change as we go along our trajectory of development and also putting in uh, the various mitigation strategies that we talk along uh, as we go along. If that is so, then, uh, uh, then uh, you know, what we have done in my organization is that we have focused mainly on sequestration. So I know somebody else also will be talking about sequestration. And we have worked with the ministry uh, at looking at how sequestration will progress to achieve the 2.5 to 3 million tons of uh, CO2 that is uh, uh, envisaged to be sequestrated uh, by 2030. So we have followed the path that by 2030, uh, uh, at least the total amount of uh, you know, tree cover in terms of forest as well as trees outside forest should be at least 28% of the total uh, you know, uh, the um, geographical area. Uh, so by 2030, we should be able to achieve that kind. Of course, the mix of the trees should be as, uh, you know, need to be designed, uh, and where they will be, what kind of trees will be placed, at what growth, growth rates they should be growing, that it totally depends on the agroclimatic zones uh, that they are uh, growing in, uh, you know, naturally. In by 2047, that is the 100 years of our independence, we also want to show that further uh, sequestration uh, can be done. And there we are saying that the target of the Forest uh, Act was that 33% of the geographical area will be covered. So we hope that if we follow a certain pathway, we'll be able to uh, you know, cover the 33% of the geographical area. The next is the 2070 target. So we don't uh, we are saying that the maximization of sequestration will happen by 20, uh, th uh, 2047. And only up, uh, beyond that, we should do, be able to do a maintenance of the tree cover that we have. Wherever they are dying, we have to regenerate them. Where, and we might have to grow species that, are, uh, that have a cycle uh, uh, ranging from a 20-year period to up to 60 to 80 years period. So this is how we, we will be doing our sequestration. Other, from, other than the CE, CCU that uh, has been talked about. CCS will also, uh, sorry, uh, uh, the carbon sequestration will also play by the, uh, uh, by the trees and will, will play a, a role in uh, reaching our carbon neutral goals.